I would like to show you a little bit Xcode 3.1 programming. First you can select a new project for Macintosh of course, but in this case we want to have an iPhone project, a view-based application. And here you can enter a name, which is the name of your project, gets the name of your application also automatically. That's the code which is generated automatically after this first step. And there is a lot of code already which you can use and fill out. Especially important are the commented sections which you can uncomment, but not all. Uh, it doesn't make sense to uncomment all, just what you need. For example, a load event is very helpful. When the program gets loaded, you can do some initialization steps. And here, auto rotation, I usually uncomment this part also. So that's, that's fine for this part. And what you also have to do here, uh, th that's the header file, to fill in the header file if necessary. We do it later. But you have to look here, there's the main program. You don't have to change this usually. But very important as the info plist, you have to change here the com dot your company, fill out your company which you got from Apple, and you have registered there so uh, the signatures later on for the device will work. And now that's ready for compilation. I change to simulator debug so we can see it here on screen. And the simulator just starts here and we get a gray image uh, because we haven't defined any surface already. So we have to do this as a next step. And the nice thing about the programming with the Xcode is you can use the interface builder. And that's a graphical system. You can just here select the background color, for example, for your application. You can drag a button there at this place. We'll do it. And you can put some text inside. Just when you press a button, you see it. And then we want to have a label in our first example to write some text when pressing the button. So that's already functionable. You can just build it and go. And we have the button, but if you press it, nothing happens, of course, because it's not defined what should happen. And to do this, you should do some uh, additional steps here. An action is required called IB action. And we need an IB outlet to connect the label to our program. And that's very nice to do this. I will show you how easy it is. And we have to synthesize. That's a real objective C structure and just copy here the IB action and fill out the code. We want to have label.text set to a defined text, which should appear on the label when we press a button. But now nothing will happen if we start the program. We have to connect this to our interface, to the graphic part, here to the label. The nice thing is here, you can just drag here a connection to the files owner, but we haven't done uh, the saving, we need to save the file so the system knows about our changes in the program and finds the outlet. And now we have the LBL outlet connected. And next step is to connect the text to the event. Touch up inside when I release the button, an action should appear and this is the do button. Action which we have defined before, it's recognized by the IB action. Now we can start our program and when we press the text, we get hello world here on the screen. So that's completed. If you want to test it on your device, you have to change here to device and you have also to fill in at the playlist your uh, distribution b and developer profile. In this case, you need a developer profile, uh, which is linked to your system. And then you can start it. It's installed here right now on the iPhone. You can start it on the iPhone. You can debug it on the iPhone and make breakpoints and everything you want to to get your program running perfectly. And later on, you use the distribution profile for a distribution release step, and then you can submit it to the App Store.